we'll see. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, there's Ken. We are underway. Ken five minutes on the clock. Best of five. Let's see what happens here. McMaster White. And J-Rod. Brooks. Brooks with the shot. Oh, MD with a big stop. And now J-Rod trying to stay with it. Leaves it for Ken. Ken drives in with it. And up in the air is Gibb to knock it away. Go Rocks go. Can't get to it. Roos lets it go. J-Rod on it in the corner. Go Rocks go. Able to tip it along. But Ken trying to charge through. Gibb keeping it alive inside the McMaster zone. I'm going to get a little twisted here because Waterloo's primary colors are yellow and black. So it's a little weird to see. <laughs> To, to yeah to see that uh, the Waterloo is playing under a green color here. Well, the color oh, should not matter oh as that my. one comes close. Doesn't quite work out. Still on the attack though. As Go Rocks Go sends that one and down to give. give. Sends it along. Ken. Now Rooks will send it up. Ken going after it. Let's Go Rocks Go in the corner. Now Give. Tipping it along. Go Rocks go on the wall. Sending it in front. Ken with a good defensive play to knock it all the way down. Rooks trying to get a tip on it. And then sending it right off the bar was J Rod. Go Rocks go. Sending it down. Rooks is back defensively to corral it. And now MD at center. Off the ceiling. Not going to go very far, but it'll come now. Oh, oh. A little bit of a risky play there by Rooks, but he's able to come away with it. And now, oh, Ken driving it away from him. And now J-Rod with the goal. That was pretty. pretty J-Rod able play. to capitalize on a, a classic Rocket League play. You know, just get it in the corner, get it from the corner to the center. And he's able to get the goal. But what I was looking to say is Waterloo has felt very much on their back foot so far in this game. Um, it seems like they're a little, little overwhelmed at the moment. McMaster White is really turning on the pressure, keeping that ball in the offensive zone. And when Waterloo does get an opportunity, it doesn't last more than, you know, 10 seconds in the McMaster zone. So they definitely have to figure out just how to break out of this offensive rotation. Here's a good chance. Yes, it'll go in. MD22 able to slam that one home while it floats one. along the crossbar. 1-1. One, one. I feel this is just going to be the tempo of this series. Yeah, I we think... We might get a full-on series here. I think that might be right. We'll see what happens, but currently it's looking fairly close. Like, there's a, a couple good opportunities for really either team to come ahead if they can just... Uh, oh, J-Rod with a good, good, good play there. Keeping it away, but MD there as well. And Ken able to knock it aside. Go Rocks, go, knocking it up. Coming down for the double touch. Oh, and Ken, did he let oh, it go? Gib will come bit. in and finish it. This is just an unfortunate situation here. Is that ball is left out in center. Just chipped up right along the backboard. Ken's trying to get up. He needs to get a touch. If Ken hadn't touched that there, that would have been a goal no matter what. So I respect him for doing it. Unfortunately, the touch he gets just puts it right back in front of his own net. Almost kind of leads to an own goal with Gibb cleaning it up there. But, I mean, it was the best chance he had, and he took it. And J-Rod in the back of the net. But, unfortunately, just charged towards the back and couldn't, couldn't collect himself and get himself out to make a play. Yeah, sometimes you're so anxious to get back to the net to actually make the save that you're going too fast to stop yourself, and then you don't make it anyway, so unfortunate situation. Oh, Four. Ken just missing an attempt, but that would have been a, 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 a bad, bad attempt on his part. He was diving towards his own net and almost made contact with the ball going towards the net. That would not have been pretty. Oh, what oh, a my, demo. what a play. Gibb coming in strong, taking out uh, J-Rod, who was sitting in the net, ensuring that nobody was going to be there when MD22 took this shot. Empty, wide open, and there you go. Just pops right in. 3-1 Waterloo. Pretty. Picture perfect. Gotta love when those demo plays work out. There's nothing quite like it. Now MD getting it deep into the zone. J-Rod there. Go Rocks Go leaps up, knocks it aside, and Ken will knock it inside. The Waterloo zone. And now Rooks trying to stay with it. J-Rod now. J-Rod into the corner. Go Rocks go in the air. He'll tip it to the ceiling. Give there. Back to Go Rocks go. And Rooks will drive it over to Ken. Ken with the attempt. MD with a big stop. And now J-Rod driving it into the corner. Up in the air is Gibb and he'll send it along the other wall. 
Rooks at center, able to hold it in momentarily as Go Rocks go, gets it in. That's off the Not bar quite. and out. Great opportunity. MD won't be able to take the shot, but here comes Gib. Gib going for the bounce. It's a little high and wide. But that demo, again, oh, the double the demo. Double. That's just going to roll in. Gib right now is wishing there was that demo assist stat because he'd be coming in hard in that category. And let's be real, why isn't there? If you demolish somebody in the net and then the ball rolls in like two seconds after, that's a that's an assist. That should be tracked. That was Psionics, insane. Psionics, please. That was insane. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe I'm too focused on the stat, not focused enough on the goal. That was crazy. That's this same kind of play, just that time two people out. Go Rocks go, getting a classic ceiling shot there as he just flicks that one in. Nobody able to do anything about that. They were a little too slow to get in the air there. Oh no, we see uh, we see Rumps up and waiting, but unfortunately just couldn't get in front of there. I apologize, I was incorrect in my statement. And with this this current game, it just looks like Waterloo will run away with game one. But obviously, we'd hope for a much better, a much different game two. I shouldn't say better. I don't think Waterloo would want to hear that. And MD able to put one away again, six to one. Yeah, so at the start of this game, we saw really back and forth action. Uh, you know, it looked like it was going to be a long series, long game, possibly even hitting overtime. But Waterloo has stepped it up, to say the least. We're, uh, we're a bit away from overtime, unfortunately. I, I mean, only five goals in a minute. It's not unreasonable, but I think a bit away, actually, yeah, might be the best way to put it. Oh, an excellent opportunity here, but will not happen. I think the no, main... Today, we have yet to really see the monumental comeback today. Here we go, though. MD22 making it to Brazil. I already said it once, so I'm just going to commit to saying it a couple times every time <laughs> it happens on stream. I'll be that guy. I apologize. I know how many of you hate it, but you can't stop me. Well, people at the land can. Please don't rip my headphones off. <laughs> oh, that that would hurt. I, yeah, I, I don't I don't feel like being assaulted today. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an excellent shot. Oh, Is that gonna MD sneak side. in? My <laughs> God, MD22, the <laughs> placement. What a beaut. He comes in upside down off the wall, and just look at this. That Dominus hits boomers. You know it does. It floats. It's in top. Dang. Jeez. Oh, what a shot from him. So eight to one. Did you expect this when we hit that uh, that like three minute mark and it was still I think like one to one, two to one? Yeah, no, no, I did not expect this, but uh, still, still a couple of games at the least. So I think if McMaster White can figure out you know how to dodge these demos, how to and play to send around it them, there you go, Rooks. The brilliant team play as Ken gives him a, a beautiful flick assist. Just come in and faking out Gib. Gib not able to do anything with it. He's off the back wall. Go Rocks go. Comes in and just can't get the save either. So that one floats right in. How about six goals in 19 seconds? I mean, <laughs> I'm not denying that it's possible. Theoretically. But <laughs> in an actual game, I, uh, I don't know how many miles you're going to get out of that prediction. Unfortunately. Oh, go Rocks go. Over jumping it a little bit. They may not be able to get six, but they may get one. Here he goes. J-Rod. No, that's in the corner. Rook's putting it over. It's still up. Here comes Ken. Oh, back to J-Rod. Too high. Rook's, come on. Here he is. Ken, you got to get in there, man. You got no boost, though. J-Rod keeping it alive. Oh, finally drops in Waterloo. Take game number one in a dominating fashion. That was almost exactly my choice of words. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, absolutely impressive game from them. Waterloo really pulled it out there. Um, we saw a very, very uh, close beginning of the game. Uh, we weren't sure how this was going to play out. Waterloo figured out the keys to winning were demolitions, demolitions, demolitions. It worked out well. It grabbed him two goals to put the pressure on McMaster White. They end up running away with this game. And now comes the all-important game, too. What will happen? Will Waterloo be able to continue in this trend? Or uh, will McMaster White figure it out? I think if they can just... I think it literally comes down to dodging demos at this point. Mm -hmm. If yeah, you can do that, you uh, theoretically have given up a lot of their scoring ideas. So then they'll probably only get like three this next game. You guys can score three goals. And if they're not scoring nearly as much, you're going to feel a lot better about your play. And that'll just lead to more goals for you too. 13-7, mm -hmm. to seven, the shots in that last game in favor of Waterloo. Waterloo won it in dominating fashion. And here we go, game two underway. MD starting with the ball and 
Masters looking to come away with it. Go Rocks Go trying to stop the attempt at center in there. Oh, no. Give able to make a good play. Oh, get the stop. Oh. MD unable to come down and put that one into the net. And J-Rod against MD. J-Rod trying to get the best of it, but unable to get it outside the zone as Gibb is able to keep it alive. But Gibb has it knocked away from him by Ken. And now MD sends it in. Rooks jumps into the airs, knocking it towards center. Gibb now with the knock. Oh, and Gibb with the tip. No, off the crossbar. Go Rocks, go. Now facing a 1v1, but manages it well. Just a pretty, pretty play there. And you know, go Rock, go with it. Dukes, oh, Dukes getting oh. a little risky. Whoa. But go Rocks, go now along the wall. He's got Ken challenging him, but he's able to get it across to Gib. Gib can't make any contact with it at first. MD comes in, makes the contact, gets it down, can't Loading tip it towards the target. MD, here he goes. MD, and his attempt is denied by Ken, I believe, as Ken was coming out of the net. And now Ken will move it along for McMaster. Diving through the air, able to knock it outside oh, the zone as deadly. Go Rocks go. Two v zero. This is dangerous. Gib misses his Ken jump. with a good defensive it. play. Oh my! J Rod now playing playing the role of goal. And now Go Rocks go. Gib up the ceiling. Rooks will send it to center. MD will get the tip. Go Rocks go trying to get it out. It's in the corner, coming up along the wall. Gib knocks it to the ceiling. Knocking it down is J-Rod. Coming in is Ken, unable to knock it towards the net. And now Rooks will jump into the air, keep it at center. Gib comes in. Gib knocks it over to Go Rocks Go. He can't tip it on net. And now MD drives it into the corner. MD stays with it. Ken will steal it from him. Now in the corner, Rooks. He has the ball knocked from him by Go Rocks Go. And now in the air is Gib. That's going to go. And the first goal of the game is scored by Gib. Yeah, Gibbs just able to find this one floating out in front. Uh, Ken isn't able to get there in time, so he just puts that in the back of the nut. But I do want to appreciate McMaster White. A lot more fluid on defense this time. They're moving a lot more. They're getting out of Waterloo's way. They're not taking these demos. Not only are they dodging the demos, but this added fluidness increases the speed of the game. Oh, this is deadly. Can j Rod or Ken get it out? Yes, they can. But it's still dangerous. This here's another shot. Rooks, what a save. That was just a great, great play by Rooks. Able to come in and just stop that one. Keep this one at one. McMaster still with more than enough time to bring this to an even series. They're only down by one and only down by one game. So a win here, as you pointed out earlier, game two is just so critical, especially in a best of five series. And now Rooks up at center. He's not going to get a good knock on it. Go Rocks Go. Got it there across to MD. Go. And there it is. Tip. Tip tac toe right there. Sometimes the best passes are failed shots as Go Rocks Go puts that towards the net. It's a little off, and MD22 is there to clean it up. We will pretend it was intentional. It probably was. Maybe I'm just a bad player, and I think he was shooting because I'm bad at the game. That's the more likely option, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> now Go Rocks Go into the corner. Ken trying to drive it outside the zone. He's unable. And now Rooks. Oh, somebody got the demo there. Gib loses it. Go Rocks Go is after it. He's got Ken charging in towards him, and Ken takes him out. And now Rooks gets it towards the net. Gib able to jump up and deny any opportunity from occurring there. And now J-Rod and Gibbs along the wall. And that's a... Oh, that's just a risky defensive play by Rooks. Just... Not tipping it away, just kind of dropping it there in the corner. And now Ken is on it. Ken, J-Rod, oh. J-Rod unable to finish it. And Rooks trying to drive it towards the net as well. And now Ken with an attempt, and that's tipped the other way. And now Rooks on it. Ken going a little bit too far back there as he uh, as he was trying to rotate out and rotate towards the net. He would have stayed in the offensive zone. He could have grabbed a goal. And you have to ask yourself, when you're risking match point, there's a minute left, you're down 2-0. Do you continue with the conservative traditional rotations of being a little bit farther back like that? Or do you play a more aggressive game where you leave that third man closer up? Risk getting scored on more often in a counterattack, but open yourself up to more scoring opportunities as well. At it's this just, point, it's all about risk management, I think. Well, this, this, this McMaster team is playing a much better game than we saw them play in that first game. 
Oh, completely. I would say this this feels like an entirely different team to the Absolutely. one we saw in game number one. In a very positive way. Oh, and there's Ken, Ken, Ken able to put it away. Advantage. A little bit of a misplay there from Waterloo. And by, when I say a little bit, I mean quite a bit here. Yeah. As Go Rocks Go puts this right in front of his own net, dropping down. Gib not there to really do anything with it. I think he was going for the pinch to try to send this high and along the goal. Unfortunately, he hit it too high up on the ball, and it maintains its angle and just drops right in front of the net. Now J-Rod with a great opportunity off the kickoff. He goes for the fake. It and he him. He ties it up back-to-back. Back. 19 seconds left. We are back at twos. J-Rod able to tie it with 19 seconds to go. Excellent. Wow. Him. Gib just not expecting that at all. He goes for the fake. Does a brilliant car placement to leave his wheels right there. That contact with that wheel is just going to be a little bit softer. Make sure that it stays close to his car. And that pushes that ball straight through. There's a demo. And McMaster makes another push. Are we going to see around. overtime? Oh, oh no. no. Ken Whoa. saving his team, but it's big, not big over stop yet. Big by Ken. It is far from over. Go, Rocks, go. Oh, we're going to get the overtime. Here we go. I believe this is only the second overtime we've seen on stream today. The it first is. one being that all intense. Oh, and it might finish early. MD drives towards the net. Unable, though. Give jumping up. Knocking it into the corner. And Ken now moving it along. Ken chases it. He's got to beat MD. He will not, but MD not getting too much on it. And now Ken driving it into the corner. Gib. J-Rod. MD driving towards it. Go Rocks go on the other side. Oh, this has potential. This, oh, oh no. the crossbar. Oh, but there's Go, go Rocks, Rocks go. go. We saw a little bit of a double commit. Go Rocks Go decided, you know what? I'm going to go for this no matter what. It turns out to be worth it as nobody was there to make the save. Ken and J-Rod both a little bit out of position, a little bit confused. Waterloo take game two, but this was a completely different matchup to Absolutely. that game one. This was a team that really fought, really struggled to get this game and get this win here. In game number one, we saw an entirely different story, and I'm excited to see what McMaster White can do now as, yeah, they are on match point, or facing a team that's on match point, I should say. But hopefully this game right here, taking it all over time, scoring those two goals so quickly, is that mental boost that it doesn't phase them as much because I think it's totally reasonable for these guys to come back at this point. They have made Absolutely. a strong showing. Because game two, that was a totally different McMaster team that we saw from game one to game two, just totally different. And we're gonna see here game three, yeah, they're down 2-0 right now, but if they can keep up what happened in game two, this could very well turn into quite the series. Well, we'll but see what happens, rough. but that's not the that way to do it. That is a start. I think, I don't know what happened there, but Rooks felt like he just kind of turned himself around. He had plenty of boost. I think he had 81 in the tank at the end of this and just misplayed it a little bit, ends up missing the ball and that floats on in. But nice. it's not like they haven't started from a deficit before. Um, in game number two, they had to literally score two in ten seconds to tie it up right before. Yeah. So I would not no, be too scared yet. Up along the wall, Gib able to knock it away, and Gorox go there along the wall. He's got MD oh. with him. MD oh. with a drive, and Ken, Ken with a big stop. What an impressive play from Waterloo, but Ken, what a save. He read it perfectly. He got in front of the net and protected what he needed to protect. Brilliant play all around from both teams here. What oh, a shot! Ken, the another weird big angle. save by Ken. Oh, or Ken sorry, that last one. Bad. I think that last one was Jay. Master White have been pushed to their back foot here and are still handling it perfectly as they get the opportunity to score. Roof's tying it. What a counterattack. They get put in a terrible situation, one that looks like an almost certain goal. They hold it off, they come back, and they score immediately back, tying this game at once in the first minute, which realistically, this is the first time that these two teams have been tied past, I believe, the first minute, and I'm excited to see what that means for McMaster White. Absolutely. This is the first time they've scored early while still having a chance. I think in game one they scored fairly early, but it was a significant deficit, so... I truly hope this means that they're coming back here. Oh. What an angle. MD, I didn't even see that coming. Me neither. I thought that was a pass with the angle I watched that at, but he just snuck that one in tight. Tight, 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 tight. Wow. I mean, come on, man. You can't MD be doing that today. MD with his second of the game. 2-1 Waterloo right now. That's that caster spirit. I was literally talking about, well, maybe we'll score more because I haven't scored this early in a while. There you go. Waterloo puts one up on Right him. there. <laughs> You needed more evidence for Caster Curse, just 
Keep and out MD me. with another attempt. Go Rocks go jumping in there. And MD, Ooh. is he gonna get it? He does! The natural hat trick. I'm worried about MD, it. another goal. I'm worried about this becoming a, a game one situation. A faded, a faded, <laughs> a faded situation. situation. Maybe that too. Either way, I'm a little worried for McMaster White. I hope they're not uh, too stressed yet. There's still, I mean, an insane amount of time. This is only 345. You have almost the entire game left to play. Absolutely. I, I, it's totally fine at this point. I, I'm not stressed for them, and I hope they uh, can continue that as well in their own heads. And trying to move along, but Gibbs says no. But Ken stuck with it. Uh oh, just missing the attempt was Rooks. Okay, Rock going up. One that. back defensively, and Go Rocks Go has a wide open cage, and he sends it home to make it four to one. Unfortunately, J Rod was put in an awkward position there. Do I run back and hope Gibbs gets a Gib gets a light hit, or do I challenge him now and try to beat him? But if I miss, I get a guaranteed goal against. He chose the latter. It doesn't quite work out for him. Gib taps it over him, and Waterloo go for it. But I mean. That's a tough spot to be in, and you can't blame him for making that attempt. Speaking of, there's one now. Yeah. Now Rooks. Oh, Rooks just missing that one. But Ken coming in there. Oh, that might oh, just that float might in. Go, that might go, and it does. Yeah, Ken getting a, a little lucky off the wall there. That 50-50 ends up bouncing perfectly, going right into the net. He gets rewarded for it with a uh, cutting that lead down to two. Lead cut in half. Uh, uh, <laughs> not quite, but I'll take it. <laughs> Caster math, right? And now Rooks. MD able to move along the wall. J Rod. Ooh. Rooks just missing the attempt. Go Rocks go. Sent it up to Gib. And now Gib looking. Oh, that's a good play by Ken. A lot of confusion coming out there. I think Waterloo was looking for the demo. Couldn't find it and confused themselves. Ken with an opportunity. No. J Rod may catch this. Play it a little bit slower along his own. Oh, J Rod run. taking out with the demo. And now Rooks will move it along. Go Rocks go. Ken able to tip it. Gib there just inside his own zone. Moves it in. To McMaster territory to go rocks go pretty pretty play yeah go rocks go just split in the defense there is Gib passes it beautifully to him he has to go in between two he does he gets up ahead of Rooks that is goal number five for Waterloo I mean halfway left I like the chances but I think that we're seeing McMaster White slip into old habits uh in Waterloo really taking advantage of that as we've seen a much more physically aggressive team i.e the demos that have started coming out again and uh, a McMaster team that feels stuck in their own zone a lot what a what save a stop by MD, MD and again. another big stop oh my goodness MD really wanting to keep the significant lead but Ken, Ken tries and it goes in brilliant shot from him Ken again Ken has done a lot he has. I think he has really put the team on his back in this game and the game before that. Um, it's not necessarily all offensive either. He has been the defensive rock. He has been uh, ready for every single shot that's coming in. Uh, I mean, big demo there just in center. Now J-Rod tipping it along. Go Rocks go keeps it alive. And now Ken will send it up the wall. Rooks there. Rooks with the shot. Gibbs going to tip it away. J-Rod jumping up into the air. Gibb able to get it up over him. Rooks now sending it back past center. And on top of it, MD getting it over to Go Rocks. Go, Go Rocks. Oh. Go with the attempt. And that was just a little too high. Rooks now moves it along the wall. MD now along the corner. It comes to J-Rod. J-Rod's able to keep it alive. Ken off the wall. Gibbs back. And Gibbs going to try and tip it along. But J-Rod's coming in. Gib does manage to tip it along. One minute remaining, and McMaster down by two, down by two in the series. And this is the potential. This is this is it. Potential. Potential game here. McMaster may be sent home, and it's looking like that's gonna happen as Gib puts it to bed. Six to three, 45 seconds left. I mean, weirder things have happened, but. They definitely have, but I mean, Gib right there just taking full advantage of, I think, a little bit of a confused Rooks. He makes a weird touch and then elects not to challenge it for 
about just literally a second later than one would normally expect. And I think it just got in Rook's head a little bit. He wasn't sure where Gib was going with that. He misses as a result. Gib has an empty net to play with. Now a little bit of confusion from Waterloo, though. This could be a good chance as it's in front. Oh, no. He's just unable to come down with it. <gasps> Rooks! And now another opportunity. Ken puts it away. 26 there. seconds to go. And just again, yeah, lead is only two. Yeah, Rooks doing a phenomenal job of getting that to center off of the back wall. You saw that jump, the placement. I mean, stellar touch from him. Yeah, Ken got the goal, but I, I got to give that one all to Rooks. That was a beautiful play from him. Beautiful, beautiful determination. Gibb with a good play to send it into the McMaster corner. Gibb sticks with it. And go, Rocks, go. Increases the lead yet again to three. Seven to four with 16 seconds to go. I think that might be the nail in the coffin. I think, especially after the last goal from McMaster's White, I thought it was definitely possible. It was low time, but they could do it. We've seen them score two in less time. But three with 16 on the clock, and you're facing this kickoff right here. If it doesn't go your way, which it didn't, that's a huge time waste, and it's going to be tough. Especially as and Gibb tries they... to get one more. He tries to get fancy with it, can't quite do it. So timer ticks down. Do Good effort late by McMaster, but that first game was just killer. I, I worry that the series score doesn't adequately reflect the true nature of this series. I think, I think this series score reflects the teams in game one that we saw. But looking at a 3-0 sweep, these games were significantly closer than that. They fought till the very end. It was absolutely stellar play from both of them. All of them having good moments. All of them having uh, amazing players. Unfortunately, Waterloo just barely comes out on top. But I really don't like uh, you know saying the sweep just because it, it was so fantastic to watch. And there were so many stellar moments. Yeah, you look at uh, games two and three, and they were just total opposites of what we saw in game one. Right. And if game one were more like games two and three, it's likely that at this point, yeah, we'd be 2-1, and we'd be seeing another game between these two. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, with the way that first game went, it's just it was a bit of a killer. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think that uh, definitely didn't help the mindset for the rest of the game. But absolutely. either way, we're going to move on to our next series, our next quarterfinal match. So we are going to get that set up, and we will be back in five minutes. Yeah, let's yeah. say five minutes. Yeah, that's safe to say. See you guys later. See you in a bit.